three series in this video. The first one is the series as n goes from 3 to infinity of ln n over n. Well, let me tell you guys that this right here diverges and this is why. First off, notice on the top here, we have ln n. And in fact, this right here is always going to be bigger than or equal to. And of course, it's actually just bigger than 1. But we like to have bigger than or equal to whenever we are trying to do the comparison. But anyway, we know this right here is bigger than or equal to 1 when n is greater than or equal to 3. And in fact, if you have n star with 2 to infinity, that's okay too. You can just plug in 2 in here and then squeeze out the first term. And then the rest will be the series as n goes from 3 to infinity. And then that part it will be the following. So this is the main part. Alright, and based on this, I'll just show you. We know the series as n goes from 3 to infinity. We have ln n on the top over n, and thanks to this, we know that it will be greater than or equal to the series as n goes from 3 to infinity. Replace that with 1, and then we still have the over n. And of course, this right here is the harmonic series, even though we miss the first two terms, but this right here will still diverge. So this right here is the harmonic series which diverges, and that means we can draw a conclusion because this is bigger than that. This is also going to be diverge. And with that being said, we can say that this right here uh, diverges. And what we are doing right here is the direct comparison because we use the inequality. So diverge by direct comparison test. And with that, we are done. Okay, for the second one, as you can see, I just put this and raise to the second power. So of course, this right here is the same as saying the series as n goes from 3 to infinity, ln square n over n square. And in fact, we are not going to do any of the comparison tests. Because if you want to, you might try the series of 1 over n square. But unfortunately, this is bigger than the convergence series. So the direct comparison test wouldn't work. And you can also try to use the limit comparison test, but if you work it out, you will get the limit to be infinity. So that's also not going to be okay. So what are we going to do? Well, the good old integral test. And we can also use this chance to review integration by parts. So here we are going to say we'll consider the function. And of course, let's just replace all the ends with Excess. and just kind of supply a graph real quick and I'll just tell you the picture will look somewhat like this and yeah you just have to mention that f is decreasing okay and then it's positive and continuous on the interval x is greater than or equal to 3 so this is how we can be legit and use the integral test so let's go ahead and check the corresponding improper integral, namely the integral going from 3 to infinity of that, which is ln square x over x square. You can do a use up first, or you can just go ahead and use integration by parts. Up to you. Because we are going to review integration, so why don't we also do a use up, right? So I will do that. So here we go. I'm going to let u equal ln x, and then you see that this means x is equal to e to the u, and then differentiate both sides will get dx is equal to e to the u du. Have a look. This right here is going to be x is 3, you put it here, so that means u will be ln3. And then if you put infinity here, that means ln infinity, which is infinity, so u goes to infinity. Okay, this is ln square. So if you square both sides, then you can see that on the top, we get u square, And let me just put it down like this. And over x squared, we are right here. If you square both sides, x squared is the same as e to the u's power and then to the second power. So just multiply them. So this is e to the 2u. And lastly, right here, it's just e to the u du, right? So that would replace right here. That's really nice. e to the u du. All right, and then we are going to finish everything in the u world, but we can simplify this and that. This right here means e to the u minus 2u, which is just e to the negative u. Here we go. This is the integral going from ln3 to infinity, and then we have u squared, and uh, <laughs> that part is e to the negative u d 
du. And this is a nice case for integration by parts, right? And let's go ahead and make that happen. d and also the i, of course. So plus, minus, plus, minus. We are going to be differentiating u square and integrate e to the negative u. So I'll show you guys something cool. Take this and then put it here. I ran out of space, I'm sorry. But anyway, this right here is going to be, this is the first part we have negative. We have u square. And let me put that down on the bottom. So we have over e to the u. And then this and that is going to be plus 2u over e to the u. And lastly, put this and that, which is minus 2 over e to the u. All right. And then we'll just go ahead, plug in, plug in. So ln3 here and then infinity here. Check this out. When you put infinity to here, Take the limit as u goes to infinity. On the top is just a power function. On the bottom is exponential. So as u goes to infinity, this will be zero. Likewise this, likewise that. So when we put infinity, the first part is just going to be a zero. And then we are going to just minus the second part. Put ln3 right here. Oh my goodness. I, let's see. Okay. So it's going to be finite, okay? But like, Let's see, this is going to be negative and then ln3, you square that, and then over e and ln3 cancel, you just get 3 right here, all right, and then do it again. But anyway, this right here is going to be finite. So this right here converges. So what does that mean? That means the series right here also converges. Why? By the integral test. And with that, we are done. So for number three, we have this raised to the nth power. And let me tell you, I think this is actually easier than the one over the earlier. Because of the nth power, I think it's a good idea to use the root test. Because when we take the nth root of this, the nth root and the nth power will cancel, and the rest is actually pretty straightforward. Have a look. So let me just write this down real quick. We will be using the root test. And to do this, we are just going to check the following. We will have to take the limit, and usually, once we get to this point, I will just tell you, just write down as n goes to infinity, so that you don't have to write down the lim, all right? So what do we do? Well, take the nth root, and technically, you also attach an absolute value, just in case if you are dealing with some negative stuff inside. But in this case, the absolute value doesn't matter, but you know, just in general, you have to do that. You put this expression here, you see, this right here cancel, I'll use blue for that. Very nice. So this right here is equal to ln n over n. And as n goes to infinity, well, ln n, that's the smallest kind of infinity compared to n to the first power. So this right here will go to zero. Now you have to know how to utilize this zero. For the root test, you have to say zero is less than one. And that's good because if this is less than one, we get to draw a conclusion. And the conclusion is that this right here converges. Why? Because we did the root test. Yeah, just like this. So which one did you like the most? The first one or the second one or this one? Comment down below and let me know. And if you guys need more help with series convergence tests, check out my other videos for them. I'll see you guys there. Bye.